Mike Thomas, Super Arena, Damon the Dog, Barry and Foss Bruton as we are here for Pride Total Elimination 2003. We have seen one heavyweight bout, two middleweight bouts, and now it's time for the heavyweights one more time. And this time it is Antonio Noguero, Enrico Rodriguez. Boss, we've got a very special commentator. Mark Coleman is with us as well. Mark, how are you doing, man? I'm doing fine. How are you doing, Boss? I'm great. I'm great. I'm, uh, thanks. Thank you very much for joining us here. Always greatly appreciated. Wow. What more can you ask for so far? It's been an incredible show. Uh, this is the best fighters in the world going at today, and just incredible. And Mark, we've seen already Chuck Liddell, who seemingly was hurt, but showed that that thing that he has, where he just turned it around, pounded. He representing UFC, and now in this fight, Rico Rodriguez, also of the UFC, a couple of former champions here going at it. Uh, yeah, Rico's. Uh, they're, they're both going to show a lot of technique. Uh, probably some things that I don't even know what they're going to be doing. They're so good at it. But, what? Uh, <laughs> what you? Uh, yeah. We'll see. But uh, Rico's maybe. Maybe he's going to come in a little bit heavy, and we'll see if that has a factor. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm really looking forward to this one, especially this is kind of a payback time here for Nogueira, for Nogueira since he lost to him by submissions, like we told before, you know, like we said before. But again, Nogueira did way more fighting in between, uh, both coming off a loss and repeating everything that we said, but it's going to be an exciting match. But to tell you the truth, I don't see it going uh, past row number one. And the first two fights also did not go past round number one. Mark Coleman was in the corner with Gary Big Daddy Goodrich against Fedor. I was shocked to see it end so quickly. I know Boss was to see it end that quickly. What, what do you say to that? Well, you know, you got one ounce gloves on. You got two guys with power. It, it doesn't take much. He got off first, and uh, that's all it takes in this game. He got off first, hit him hard, rocked him, and uh, Gary couldn't recover, unfortunately. Yeah, bottom line is either one of those guys gets a hold of the other, as you well know, in this in this thing. And you can hurt him, and he couldn't recover. But Just like you saw with Chuck and, uh, Chuck and Alistair, uh, one punch is all it takes. Absolutely. Yep. Now, here's a guy, as we said, also a former champion and a hell of a nice guy. I'll let them take it away. Oh, you gotta love that intro, boss, huh? Oh, she sounds like a witch. Like the three <laughs> witches, and she's the worst one or something. She has this great voice, perfect for the pride. I hope she's gonna stay because Every time she talks, it's entertainment all the way. Yes, he's fantastic. Boss Rudin, Mark Coleman here as we get ready for the fourth fight, the second heavyweight. There will be three heavyweight fights tonight. And again, the last fight was our first one of the night to go the full three rounds. In this one, I think there is a, a revenge factor, obviously, going on for Nogueira, but it was so long ago and it was it was not the same style. And has he put it past him, or do you think that's still in the back of his mind that he wants to say, hey, who's your daddy? This is my place, my pride. No gear? Yeah. Oh, definitely. It's in the back of his head. But I think that uh, it's a long time ago, like you said. He's a much better fighter. Uh, but they're both incredibly great on the ground. So uh, we'll see what's going to happen. Boss, how long before this fight goes on the ground? I know Nagara feels much, much better standing up now. He talked about that this week. Feels like whatever the situation, uh, however the situation appears, I'll be able to handle it no matter which way it goes. Yeah, I think so too. Um, Nogueira is coming in in a very good shape. He looks very good. Uh, training with the top team, obviously one of the best teams in the world. It's unbelievable. I, I really don't see this fight going past the first round. I said it before, maybe it can go the distance. But Nogueira here coming out, the look in his eyes, I think it's going to be the first round. But you never know. Nogueira just introduced there, very ready. He, I tell you, he does look hungry. There is no doubt about it. This is a guy that uh, was so relaxed, he is staring him down, staring Rico down. They are obviously staring each other down. And uh, he looks to be in as good a shape, Mark, I don't know, but as good a shape as he's ever been. Oh, definitely. Looks like he's added some muscle. He looks a little bigger and stronger, and uh, we're, we're getting ready to go here. It's going to be a great fight. UFC and Pride one more time. Touch gloves, and here we go. 
Rico looking early for the jab, and obviously Nogueira kind of feeling it out. And again, he said, hey, I'll punch it. There's a swinging right hand by Rico. Who's nice take down up, here. But a takedown the other way, and Rico has... The full yes, guard. indeed, he does have him in the full guard. I've got a camera in my way there, but we see it now in the full guard. Yep, and now what is he going to do? He's got I, the left arm hooked up a little bit there as well. <laughs> yeah, but against Nogueira, if you go for an armbar, that will be his escape. He's going to go to the side mount, and he's probably going to go for submissions. So you got to watch out with a guy like Nogueira. What do you think, uh, Mike? Uh, it's a beautiful body lock takedown, and uh, of course, this is where he's at his best, and uh, very dangerous from him. Obviously, and, and Rico turning his right head there, he, he turning his head, he knew a right hand was coming. He knew that grounded bound was coming before it even came, and it did not, but you can... He's going for a guillotine. Oh, yes, he is. He's going for a guillotine. He's got the forearm arm with it, but, oh, Rico's popping out. And like I said before, like we saw before with uh, Quentin also, if you have uh, one arm underneath the armpit, it's very difficult to get the guillotine choke. Mark, is it key to get out of that joke as quickly as possible, like Rico did there as well? Most definitely. You got to get your chin down, get your hands in there, and get out of that, or else you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, Quentin happens to be one of the most pound for pound, the most strongest guys in the world. It and was that, unbelievable that really, what he did there. Really, really saved him many times in his career. He's so powerful. Yeah, right now, um, Nogueira should try to turn. Uh, I think to the left. I thought he was whispering some sweeties in his ear like uh, you often do to me there, boss, but uh, I appreciate that. And don't say that. Uh, hey, on hey, TV. Oh, hey. Again, now, this fight on the ground, obviously, and Rico now in, in, the, this game. in the guard. Going to try to do some ground and pound right here. And, and uh, the things that I said before is also reversed now. If Nogueira is going to go for a submission, Rico probably is going to escape and he's going to go to the side mount. Watch, because they're both very good at it. Both in their element look, look, look. right here. There's a damn Rico out of that and now goes right back after him with his left hand on the face of Nogueira. They are up against the ropes here. But as soon as he was released there, Mark, he went right back after him on the ground. He's gonna go. He's got, he's got. Uma Palata is gonna go, he's gonna try to roll that arm over. No, you watch, no. Gets yep. out of it. Rico's very, very well versed on the ground. Yes, too. yes, yes. That's why I said, you know, if you make a mistake, Rico's gonna go to side mount, and then he will go for submissions, and even strikes. It's obviously going to be a chess match on the ground, as it looks right now, certainly in round one. Whether or not that changes, we'll see. But right now, definitely a chess match of escape and positioning on the ground, Mark. Yeah, uh, definitely. A lot of, lot of pride at stake here with uh, showing their ground skills. Uh, both very well versed. And uh, as you said, Nogueira looking for the revenge factor here. And they started up one more time in the center of the ring here. And again, just a great job. Rico, not, you know, he knows when to pick himself up and deliver the punch rather than pick it up and receive a punch when he is on the ground here, even in the guard. Yeah, there's a triangle choke coming up from Nogueira because he's locking uh, Rico's right arm up with his hand. You see, he's holding it. And he's got so, an incredible grip. Yes. It's very hard to get rid of his hand. Is Osborne. that not true, yeah. Mark? Yes, Nogueira has an extremely strong grip. It's uh, almost impossible to get rid of it. There you go for the triangle, you see? Oh, just missed it in a right hand thrown as he came out of that by Rico Rodriguez. Mark Coleman, Beast of the East, September of 2001. Uh, felt a lot of this stuff that we are looking at here from Nogueira, no question about it. So he speaks from experience. And Rico now was able again to get out of that, almost to slip his head out and throw that right hand on the way down. Yeah, he's very good. Uh, Jiu-jitsu, uh, submissions, everything, he can do it all. And as soon as he gets out of that guard, it seems like he wants to go right back on the ground with a right hand to get him there. Yeah, but what he should do is, once he gets out of the guard, go to the side mount position. You have way more options for the side mount than you have from the guard or from the half guard. <laughs> We have not seen that yet, Mark. Why do you think that is? Uh, because uh, it's not easy to get half guard on um, Nogueira or side mount. Oh, yes. It's very but, difficult. Yep. Extremely quick also on, on the ground saying, <laughs> no, 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 not here, not here. It is. Oh, no. And the chess match continues on the ground. Round one, fourth fight of the evening. Figure four coming up. Reverse figure four. What? No, Rico knows. Pulling out, oh, kick to the head. And again, watch when he what? pulls out here if he comes back with a right hand. Whoa, knees There's to a the couple head. of knees Very to the back nice. of the head. Absolutely. Very nice. And he's going to try to get in the position.
position to throw some more. As you can see, Noguera now raising his hands, able to flip over, but had his arm up ready to block any more knees coming, but definitely an effective knee by Rico there. Yeah, he did a real good job. And now attempting, it looks like, to get what we were talking about a couple of minutes ago on the side in the side mount position, but as Mark Coleman talked about, that's not easy to get against this guy. No, definitely not. Five minutes to go here in round one as the two heavyweights battle it out in what has been a tremendous chess match of the ground game so far. Uh, either, oh, there's a good straight right hand from standing up on Nogueira and now a left. Anybody have an advantage at this point? Do you think, Mark Coleman? I, I think Rico's winning the fight so far. He looks very, very confident, and he's picking up the look, picking up the pace, and um, he's able to to uh, defend everything Nogueira's trying so far. Yeah, I think if he uh, keeps continuing like this, he could uh, he could pull out a victory. It's uh, probably not what I said. The first round decision. Well, no, Did I mean what you said was it wouldn't go past round one, boss. Yes, if you want me I, to. Uh, <laughs> can I eat my words? Can I eat my words? Uh, yeah, you want to eat them? We never know. We never know. It's Absolutely. Obviously, still more than four minutes about to go in this Umber. round. Anything can happen, and these guys can submit so quickly as well. One mistake, and boom, your arm, your your leg, something can happen here. And you see, Nogueira is con constantly controlling the arm, the right arm of uh, Rico. Non-stop holding the wrists, working, working all the time. You know, both, skipping his hips out left and right. Both you guys can speak of this. I mean, how how quickly Noguera, it, 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 one minute he's blocking or trying to avoid, and quickly countering, turning it into an offensive move where he is going for the submission. Yeah, he, Noguera, but everybody knows. You, and as you can see, against a guy like Rico, it doesn't work because he knows his game. Don't you think he watched tape on him? <laughs> I would imagine. Yeah, so uh, he's staying out of every dangerous situation. He's doing a perfect job right now. He can't even try to stand up and push the knees to the side. Definitely looks like Rico right now in control, at least, of his fight, fighting the way he wants this to go, Mark. Yes, he looks very comfortable out there. And uh, hopefully, if it's standing on can stay up here. Uh, maybe we'll see a lot more of this, but uh, maybe in the second round we'll see some on the feet. Yep. Oops. Three minutes left. You see, every submission attempt that Noguera uh, tries is uh, is blocked. And you heard the call, Rodriguez. under three minutes now to go in the first round. Again, the first 10 minutes, then two five minute rounds afterward, if indeed it does go that far. Noguera throwing a couple of right hands to the head there as he remains in the closed guard. And now they're going to restart this in the center of the ring. Was that a good one there, obvious? Yeah, I don't know. I think they should restart it on the feet because now they've both been attacking and attacking and attacking and not effectively, both of them, they should restart it on the feet, but they don't do it. No, nope, but again, I think they, go, they should have. They yeah. go to the close guard. Mark? I would also like to see him restart on the feet more often and bring him back to the center like this. And again, they start on the ground. Rodriguez throwing the right, now the left. A couple of those getting into the face of Noguera here. So some of those punches are effective. They may not seem like they're big blows, but obviously they add up. Yeah, but there was a big right swing there from Rico. It missed, but you don't want to land, have it land on your head. And again, it, it appears... Rico trying to get this up in the air, indeed, get it to stand, and he has uh, done at least half the battle there. And indeed, the referee will stand both fighters up, and the crowd applauding that. We'll see who is most effective from this position. And Ooh, there look at that flying knee. Flying knee by Rico, and this is where he wanted to be. But a right straight that connected as well. He seems more and more confident as this round goes. Just letting you know the left leg kick is there as well. Noguera attempting a couple of hooks, left hand, then right hand. Rico looks like he's in his element mark standing up. He's doing uh, good. Yeah. So far, his uh, condition doesn't seem to be a fatty. Looks like he's in good shape, and he's controlling his fight, if, if you ask me. No question about that, at least from what it looks like here in round one. And he does seem to be, you know, ready to go. He yeah. is just absolutely, it doesn't look fatigue at all as a factor, at least not so far, Bob. No, he, uh, everything looks really good for him. Uh, it was a good thing what he did. He, he shot for a There's takedown. There's a jab that connects. And shot for that takedown. Shot for the takedown. Okay, I'm blocked the takedown. And then we go give him a right straight, which was a very smart thing to do. This was like 20 seconds ago. What's going to happen? There we go. That's a good combination right there. We go shoot, really watch out for the boxing. 
Again, again. Rico now again staying at a distance where he can't get hit by the straight jab and just looking for his opportunity to throw that combo and there's a left kick to the body partially blocked though I think there and a flying knee that just does not connect they clinch now and the danger the left knee to the body a right hook to the body and a takedown by Rico Rodriguez wow very nice he's winning this round now for sure very nice takedown little, little inside trip beautiful and he Great did technique. it with, with combinations to lead him there with the knee, with the hook, and then was able to take him right down to the ground in control, doing everything he wants to do here. Looks fantastic. Triangle choke. Oh. Uh -huh. Able to basically push it off there. Yep, like it's nothing. Looks very comfortable. Very, comfortable. very there comfortable. There is round one. What a round. Beautiful round for Rico Rodriguez. And he looks very comfortable heading back to his corner, not breathing extremely hard or fatigued at this point. Mark, he talked about it throughout that round. Nogueira looks fine as well. We all know he's a top condition fighter, but it seemed like Rico had things going the way he wanted them to yeah, there. I'm, I'm very impressed with Rico at this point. Uh, stand up and on the ground. He's very comfortable, very confident. And, uh, I spoke to him before the fight and uh, he said he was going to be confident win this fight. Here we see that guillotine from the front, but again, it's caught with the arm. And then you can pull out. He snaps his like head right out, able to get out of it with not. Here we go to triangle. He pulls it out like it's nothing. Stands up again, <laughs> goes down with that right hand too, as soon as he's coming out of it. Yeah, he is so confident. He knows he cannot be caught with it. Well, if round one of this second heavyweight bout of the night is any indication, Again, fatigue can be a factor, but it's looking more like after that round that this is a fight that goes all three rounds. Yes, I think so too. So my earliest prediction was the good one. Oh, we forgot all about those predictions, Boss. <laughs> we knew you'd adjust as the night went on. Mark, you know Boss, he's always adjusted things. Well, uh, you have to adjust. Just like when he was a fighter, he's Thanks, adjusted, Mark. and now he's adjusted midstream here. It's smooth. He's earned the right to adjust. Oh, I think so. I think Improvising. So. Improvise and Hoploe, and they have got now in the corner. Nogueira looks like, yes, he was ex had his feet all the way up, almost in, a, in uh, stretching the legs a little bit there. It looked like as well, as he was sitting in the stool with the legs straight out, it looked as though, Mark, they were stretching. Mm -hmm. Could he have tightened up at all, or maybe just doesn't feel as loose in the quads or triceps right now? I'm not sure what was going on. Maybe that's just something they do in Brazil. I don't know. <laughs> that's the old Brazilian technique. Uh, Could indeed be, but again. I, I think maybe people have had time to study and watch uh, Nogueira and starting to pick up on what he does, and he's become a factor now. Absolutely. That's maybe an excellent point right there for Mark Coleman, because obviously coming off a loss and a lot of people studying this submission expert and are becoming a little more well trained to go against it as Rico certainly showed in round one, round two, underway here, boss. Yeah, that was a right hand from Rico actually landing, but now he's coming back, Nogueira with a few shots, but missing. The left hand definitely missed. There's a, a right, nice. right kick there from Rico. Yep, blocked though by Nogueira. As, and you know, Nogueira going inside, you know, I, I, he's obviously going to want, I would think, gentlemen, to go right back down. And, and Rico has been effective, as Mark said, from either position here, but I think standing up is to his advantage. Rico just looks very comfortable, very confident. He's not breathing hard. His, his conditioning is very impressive at this point, especially for for what he weighs. It's uh, impressive to be that big and still be in this good shape. Rico weighed in at 263 pounds as he attempts a right knee there, another one there in the clinch, and Antonio weighed in at 234. So obviously, yes, uh, a, a larger man, the largest of the heavyweights so far, but seemingly no fatigue whatsoever. Although that's probably an exaggeration. There's some fatigue, but he looks very much in shape here. Yep. And so far in round two, not able either fighter to get this back on the ground. Again, I don't think Rico, hey, let's stay up here. Yeah, what is going to happen? I, I, I really saw a knockout here on the feet, but Rico is doing really well. Rico blocking the jab there of Nogueira. And there's a left that grazes the side of Nogueira's face. Rico looks like he is just looking for that big punch here. He looks like he is just waiting for the opportunity for a counter, maybe a combination left, right, but he looks like he is waiting for the big shot, guys. He looks like, but I think also Nogueira is more hungry now. He's coming forward. Oh, he's broken. Nice takedown here. Beautiful. Beautiful and this is the side mount. 
Yes, the double leg takedown right into the side mount against the ropes, but Noguera yeah. able to get out of that. <laughs> yeah. You guys are uh, right on the money with all of these guys' uh, uh, chess and skill that goes on on the ground here. First figure four, you know, pulling it out like it's nothing. You can pull out of anything that Noguera does as though it's nothing, and you must be feeling pretty good, pretty confident. Yes. We're going to restart again in the center of the ring. It's obviously a very... Now, Mark, uh, both the, you guys talked likes about this. Yeah, both you guys talked about this earlier, Mark. This is where you would like to see it start standing in the middle also, just at least more often, or in a case like that, should it, where it hasn't been on the ground that long, is this the right thing to do? I think in this case, keep them on the ground, but more often you should put them back on the feet for, for the excitement of, for the fans. Absolutely. For the action, let them take each other to the ground rather than starting it there. Again, we're in round two. This is the second of three heavyweight bouts tonight. Two former champions here. UFC Whoa, and Pride represented. Beautiful turn. Very nice. Whoa, and he's going to be reversed again by Rico. This is... Ladies and gentlemen, and his Rico's home, corner you. clapping on that move right there, boss. Yeah, but this is for heavyweights. This is unbelievable. Those guys move like lightweights. They they go in from submission to submission. They escape every su uh, submission attempt that the other one does. It's unbelievable. Look here. Now this could be no. There's nothing. Yes, Rukulada maybe. Oh. Yes, if uh, Nogueras can can sit up now, which Rico won't let him, of course. And again, Rico has been able to get out of the lot thus far. And we talked earlier about that grip Ooh, being a factor. He's attempting the knees to the head of Noguera here. Anything to distract, to get out. Yep. Noguera has to try to come and sit and up. There it is. Now, there it is. He is out and hops up right away. And again, escapes it like it's nothing. They're moving like some middleweights, like you said. These guys are moving with a lot of speed and a lot of technique. Um, this is an awesome fight so far. Look like Mark Coleman out there, just yeah, moving yeah. silky smooth, <laughs> you know, going on one side. Quick, yeah. quick, quick, baby. Uh, this round, obviously, again, we you talked about it, Mark. You, it felt that Rico really had the advantage in the first round. A little more even here or still an advantage to Rico Rodriguez in this round? It's a little more even, but uh, I still give the edge to Rico in this round. He's looking fantastic. And again, Abel, as Boss talked about, the 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 One minute left. One to go, round two. Rico seemingly more aggressive. There's a couple of shots to the body, uh, counters with blows to the head by Noguera. And he definitely looks uh, a little more fatigued now, obviously, as the fight wears on. Rico still seemingly Go full of energy, arm bar, in no. control. He comes close to an armbar. Oh. And Rico, again, with the, just able to, oh, and he's going to, uh, for the side here. Here come the knees. Here come the knees. Here come the knees. Noguera, again, doing that somersault, kind of that reverse somersault to avoid those knees. It's it's unbelievable with this weight, like Mark says, and move like this, and to be in this kind of stamina, what they still have, because they're, they're still going at it. it you have to uh, say that when we saw Murillo Bustamante against Quinton, they were more fatigued at, when going at this speed. And these guys are heavyweights, so I, they got all my respect. Whoa, and the round two number. Mark is shaking his head. Mark Coleman just shaking his head in, uh, in, in a show of respect, really, in a show of respect for Definitely. both fighters or one or just the condition of both. How do you uh, see it after two, Mark Coleman? I, I have Rico way ahead, comfortably ahead. Um, just stay smart. He can win this fight, but hopefully he's going to really attack and go for the kill here in the third round. But uh, he seems to be gaining confidence as the fight goes on. It's and you, you talk about that go for the kill thing, because again, as Boss and I talked about earlier, this is not a round by round thing. So how important is it to stay aggressive as he was here in the second round? Well, it's maybe not that impressive to get the win, but it's impressive to get invited back and to please the fan. And that's what this is all about, to please the fans. You know, winning is very important, obviously, but you have to stay aggressive and, 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 and keep the people coming back. That's what it's all about. And this has been as, uh, as I mean, just a, and you can see here, boss, describe that right there. Another one where, amazingly, Rico, as you keep saying, no problem. He's able to get out of so many potential very dangerous situations for him. Yes, he's keep, he keeps escaping uh, like it's nothing. If he keeps going like he did in round number one and round number two, he's definitely going to win this match. Mark, look at him. He looks fresh. Yeah, he does look very fresh. Mark Coleman, Boss Rutten, alongside Damon Perry here at Saitama Super Arena. And obviously you two, uh, Mark, in the 
situation like this, you've been in this situation where you're you're, you're controlling a fight. You, you've gone through two rounds, but Noguera is so dangerous. It's just like that, boom. Uh, almost have to be more aware of his uh, moves, I would think, in this round as you were in the first. I mean, he's going to be going for quick, quick end to this thing if he can. But uh, as you see, they're, they're sweating very heavily. It's going to make it more difficult for a submission hold. Um, yeah, Enrico is just very confident young man. You know, lots, lots of energy, lots of stamina. Obviously, he trained very hard for this fight. I don't, I don't think weight is a factor at all. He just, he's in great shape and uh, he's controlling this whole fight. And as you, that sweat, as we get ready here for round three, will work. It sounds like in the advantage of Rico here because they are both submission guys, boss. Yes. Uh, props to Rico. Uh, I, I never saw him fight like this before. Beautiful against a guy like Nogueira. He's got all my respect. Beautiful fight. All of my respect. All of my respect to you. Thank you, boss. Round three, and there's the flying, the flying knee by Rico. He started a couple of the rounds like that now. He really wants to get that one in. And jabbing, just uh, jabbing to get a field distance here, Noguera. There's a, a right leg kick by Noguera. Have not seen much of that. Perhaps that's something his corner has talked about. We need something here. Yeah. And there's the double leg. Boom. Bang, he's got it in the bag again. Mark Coleman so impressed with all of these takedowns so far, it appears. When I when I see you just saying, wow. Picture perfect, double look. There it is. What can you do about it? Yep, and here we go, figure four, but yeah, like we said, like we saw before, Rico's probably gonna stand up and pull it out. But this is a dangerous situation now, because you have to pull it out at the right time. If not, you're gonna get caught. And good. No, he's, he's got it on hook, and, and, and if he gets it stretched, he's, he's just got to sit up and pull it out. Just get it stretched, and you can... Oh, now he doesn't have a block anymore. Oh, this could be the finish. There's... This could be the finish. No, it's not. No, he's able to turn Whoa. over, boom, get out. Whoa. Maybe this time, not like it's nothing, but a great job getting out, appreciated by the fans here as well. He is, he's, yeah, he's blowing me away right now. He is a counter for everything. Yep. Look at this. He's, he's in the better position. Now the hammer to the head. No, the hammer is sitting next to us. <laughs> <laughs> True enough. Alistair's the hammer. Yeah. Well, he's the demolition man with the big hammer. If I, he's the hammer. Well, he got hammered tonight. All right, anyway, enough of the hammers. Armbar coming up. Oh, almost. But Rico feels everything coming. And Rico staying active, staying active. And as long as he, I mean, again, as long as he can stay active and avoid any more of the danger there, he's pretty much controlled, according to Mark and Boss, this, this thing throughout. Yep. Noguera starts hitting now. He, he knows he has to do something. He knows that he has to catch him with something because otherwise he's going to lose the fight. Mark, at this point, is there any reason for Rico to even stand back up or is he doing well enough here? No, if I were him, I would stay here, but hopefully he can stay busy and, and keep uh, scoring points and, and keep the fight going. He maybe have a tendency to uh, ride out the clock a little bit here, but he's a young kid, so... Uh, you got to stay busy for the fans. Entertainment. Entertainment indeed, and it has been entertainment all night long, including here. And this would be uh, this would be a huge UFC pride thing again as well. Three minutes to go, as you can hear Rico's corner letting him know about the time. And I would think, Mark, at this point, there is no more fatigue. It's all about, hey, I'm this close. I'm this close. Definitely. Fatigue is not a fatigue. Triangle joke. Triangle Ooh. attempt. He gets out. He's getting out. And another attempt. Whoa. Oh, that one was, that one would look dangerous. It was closer. But he is relaxed and he continues to get out. And you know with under three minutes that that triangle attempt is going to keep, keep on coming. And this may be where he wants to get up to avoid that. But as Mark said, hey, he looks good down there too. I think he's uh, very comfortable down here. He? Uh, I don't, I don't see a submission hold coming anytime soon. No, no, me neither. He gave that two right uh, straights to the head. Staying busy with shots to the body there. And although they're not knockout punches, they score up, they add up. You Absolutely. know, it's, it's, he's working. One more minute left. 
Naudo Guerra really needs to do something. Yep, he's going to go after everything he can here. Rico Rodriguez, 263 weighed in, in control of this fight throughout. And again, UFC former champ, Nagara, the former Pride champ, two ex-champions going at it. In what has been a chess match on the ground, basically though, Rico has been getting everything he's wanted in this. Yep, he got the takedowns, uh, he got the reversals, he's got all the escapes, he had the attempts. Um, at least one takedown per round, Mark, and including the double leg in this round. Uh, yes, he looked very good on his feet also with some big right hands and some good flying knees. Uh, just overall very impressed with Rico Rodriguez. That is Mark Coleman, Boss Bruton as well as we are nearing, and there's a knee, a couple of knees, a hard left and a soft right knee, and that is it right there. And if Rico kissing his gloves, raising his fists, he feels very confident, Mark. Yep. It, uh, there's just no way, Boss Mark, that this could go any other way as Mark gives the thumbs up, and Rico, a determined, determined fighter. I would think he's got this in a unanimous, but stranger things have happened, gentlemen. Uh, I would say unanimous, no doubt about yes. it. Yes, Boss. Uh, unanimous decision. He went here for a submission, but the way Rico got out, out of this reverse figure four from the guard, it's just amazing. I, every submission attempt he got out, yeah, yep. he's, he won this whole fight. Well, Mark, you talked about this early. Perhaps people have been watching film or studying this guy's fights where maybe those submissions, I mean, you know, Antonio was a threat every time. He, that was becoming his trademark, but these are just moves that we can work on if we study this guy. How much of a factor is that? Uh, yeah, I think so, but you're talking about Rico Rodriguez, who's uh, he's a black belt himself, and he's a, he's a different breed. But uh, also other people are, are learning. No That's question. We go to the judges here. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This is unanimous. A unanimous decision the other way around. Yep. Gentlemen. Maybe. Maybe they looked at the attempted submission holds and weighed them heavily. That's all I can think of is, uh, but, uh, uh, I have to disagree. A very, very, well, not even disappointed as much as befuddled corner of Rico Rodriguez in disbelief and astonishment here. I get Mark, you, you said attempted submissions. You know, you're reaching, aren't you? Um, you're reaching for something. You no, know, I, I really feel bad for Rico. Right. To be honest with you, I've, right. been, on, I've been on the, the losing end of a, uh, what I felt was a bad decision. And uh, maybe my partner, Kevin Randall, went the same way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's just a horrible feeling inside. So, yep. But uh, I'm not judging this fight, so it's not up to me. Um, we have to go with what the judges say, I guess. Yep. We're at Saitama Super Arena of Pride Fighting Championships, and uh, Nogueira now talking to the, to the crowd here, as uh, you've heard from Mark Coleman and Boss, who both throughout the fight had this going the exact opposite way that the judges uh, decided on. So, no question, this is the first controversy of the night, and Rico very unhappy about it. Yes, he's just passing us, and he said some words we cannot say, but uh, he's very unhappy, and this is, uh, yeah, I, I'm just a commentator, guys, but that was, in my book, he was the winner.